Hello, 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 and happy hump day. This is Poncho Thon number 79, y'all. This is, we are about to leave the 70s. Woo! How y'all doing out there, y'all? It is, um, it's been like a, a little crazy the last couple of days up on this and lots of thunderstorms that look like tornadoes. Uh, just beginning to get some warm temperatures here that are indicative of our summer. So it's all good. How y'all doing out there, y'all? Uh, I am just doing fine. You know, I've been trying to uh, get caught up on some projects. How you doing, Miss Richardson? Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Miss Shandra guy, how are you? How hopefully things are going well with you. Hey, Miss Carol Gray, what's going on? Hey, Miss Carolyn Johnson, how y'all doing? Uh, so I have been just trying to uh, keep the pace on book deliveries. You know, our book came in on June 23rd, and we have been uh, really striving hard to get all of the books in people's hands. You know, we took about 350 pre-orders from our Kickstarter campaign and then an, an additional 50 through pre-ordering. And so we had 400 books we need to start getting out in the mail. We are doing good at that. We are just, I think, cross 360 some books <laughs> with my goal to get everybody's books in their hands before the at least. Um, oh, we should make some pretty good headway by the end of the month. The ones that are going to take the longest are Remark Books. Um, and everybody from Kickstarter, their books are signatures. So interested in getting a book, just go to LarryPuncherBrown.net and snag yours if you like. If you got your book, give me a shout so I can know what's going on, y'all. Yeah, that's what's going on with me. So I have been like, you know, we've been averaging getting 30 books out a day in addition to all the other stuff that I have to do. So uh, and then because we have so many orders. Some of you may have ordered from our last show, may not have received it yet, but you should be getting that in hand tomorrow, okay? So we are uh, just about caught up on all of our back orders and uh, now focusing on getting our books out. So that's that's pretty much been dominating my time. How else how have y'all been doing? That's right, y'all. So look, uh, uh, if you got a book, I want if you, and if you're brave, I left a link on my Facebook page. For you to come into the studio and talk about the books. I want to get some people's reactions to the book. Uh, uh, it's been well received, but you know, I still like to hear from my people what's going on. I'm going to give some house rules around here before we get started too good. That's right, y'all. You know, we're going to place the word, the item number and the word soul in the comment stream. You know, if you look at our page, there's always a number in the lower right hand corner that is uh, in uh, representing that particular product. So all you got to do is put that number, the word soul. Hey, Poncho, why are you putting soul? Because, you know, sometimes y'all have the piece at home and you just shout not that you got it or you like it or you, you know, might be interested in it. Putting the word soul lets me know you've made a commitment to that sale. Now, inbox us your email address and your shipping address at the Art of Poncho or LarryPonchoBrown.com on Facebook. Uh, and that way we'll send you a PayPal invoice that, um, you know, just we use those for our records. If you don't want to pay with PayPal, you don't have to. But that's our way of keeping track of the orders and where they're going to. Uh, and we will email that directly to you. So that's why it's important for you to email your at your at your email address and shipping address, especially if this is your first time ordering. If you've ordered from us before, no problem. You're in our system. But I am not psychic. A lot of you folks, and I'm I'm, I'm going to preach a little bit have been moving <laughs> so i'm not mad at you for moving but you know if you don't let me know you move your package might be coming to an old address you have to do due diligence to make sure that i know where you live <laughs> don't assume that i'm keeping up with all of your moves because we have literally hundreds of customers that we deal with in the course of a year so help me out by smoothing out let me know if you move hey is a $15 flat rate shipping per package. That's right, y'all, $15. Most of the items on the show are pretty similar in size or similar items, so they will fit in one package. We rarely send out two packages, but flat rate $15 per package. Hey, if you're looking for at the show through YouTube, because we're now airing on YouTube, we're airing on uh, the Larry Poncho Brown Facebook page, the Art of Poncho Facebook page, and the Art of Poncho Studio 
Facebook page. So we're located in four locations right now. But if you are looking at the show from YouTube, please send me your selections to Larry Brock, um, Poncho Brown at gmail.com. And that way we can keep up with your orders. So it's a little more difficult to keep track of orders coming from uh, YouTube than it is from Facebook. And hey, like I said, if you don't want to pay with uh, or PayPal, you can always use Cash App. As long as we can keep track of the numbers, it's all good. So what y'all got going on? Y'all talk to me. Tell me something new. What's going on out there? Uh, I'm hot, y'all. So I'm not drinking a lot of juice today. I got me some good old-fashioned spring water. Some spring water. Uh, hey, how you doing, Patricia o o uh, McNeil? Thank you for tuning in. I think she lives in Baltimore, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, what's going on, Miss Perry? Always representing. What's happening, Mr. Blaine? How are you? That's right, man. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, you got you got mine good. Well, come on and tell me what you think about it, you know. Uh, hey, what's going on? KYB, the notorious KYB. Hey, what's happening, Miss Patricia Stevens? How are you? Hey, y'all, if y'all got your book, y'all better give me a shot and let me know what you think because hey, it's so far it's been well received, but I'm always anxious to hear what you guys think of our new product. And this book is a legacy product for me, so I want to make sure you guys love it like it because we put all of our effort into it hey y'all that's the house rules that's where we're coming from so hey y'all ready to get the show started all right y'all so we got a fair amount of people in the room we're gonna get started i do think that we are going to take a brief hiatus in august that's right i think we're going to take a brief hiatus in, in august so we got three shows left uh, and, to, and we're going to take a break the entire month of August and come back again in September. But I'll keep you posted on the schedule because uh, we got some busy things coming up. We got a couple of exhibitions we got to get ready for. And uh, I need to devote some attention to what's happening. So, hey, we got I uh, Love My Book, gave one as a gift already. That's fantastic. See, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Hey, if you got your book, because we sent out 200 and 360-something books. That's right. If you got a book, let me know what you think about it. And we're going to get ready to get this party started, y'all. That's right. Item number one. Item number one, y'all, is, you know, it's, 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 uh, you know, I got a couple of things I stole from people. And uh, this, this statement, I, I, I got stuck with this statement and decided to do a bumper sticker of it. <laughs> it measures about three by six inches. It's the That's Black Tastic sticker. That's right, y'all. Woo! Put it wherever you want, wherever you need to leave a message. There it is. That's Blacktastic. The, t the uh, sticker, it sells for $5. If you like that sticker, just put item number one and sold. And that sticker will be coming your way. Item number two. We got a whole section of open edition posters here that we want to introduce you to. Some of you have seen them before, but we are trying to uh, reintroduce some of the pieces that you may not have seen. So um, item number two is a piece called Behold, Behold, you know, that scene out of Roots. That's right. It gave me that lump in my throat. That's right, y'all. That piece right there ended up being a very, very popular piece for me. We even did a figurine of that back in the early 90s. This piece is called Behold. That's right, y'all. If you like that piece, it measures 14 by 27 inches. It normally sells for $35. Today on Poncho Thon of 79, you can have uh, Behold for $15. That's right, $15. All of the pieces in the open edition section of this show will come signed by yours truly. Item number two and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number three. Item three was painted around the same time. Same, I kept the same concept in mind. I just kind of moved things around a little bit. You see the mother supporting the child, the man supporting the, the mother and the child, and the, you, the environment supporting them all. This piece is entitled Embrace. It was probably one of my hottest pieces in the early 90s. Uh, people hadn't seen Kente Cloth like that. I, I started using Kente Cloth in my artwork probably in the in the mid-80s. 
Uh, but this is a very, very popular piece. It measures 27 by 27 inches. Normally sells for $40 today on Poncho Thon number 79. You can have this piece for just $25. That's right, $25. And all of these pieces will come signed by yours truly. That's right. So what y'all talking about? Item number two. Hey, Mr. Worry Marshall, you got it. Item number two is yours. Hey, how you doing, Carolyn? First piece I purchased. Hey, well, I don't, I think Carolyn Johnson might be close to having everything I have. <laughs> She's been very consistent on my shows, and I appreciate my, my, my folks that are here on the regular. Item number three, again, is Embrace. If you like that piece, just put item number three and sold, and Embrace will be coming your way. Item number four is a popular piece we call Diversities. This piece came out in 1992, before folks was using the term diversity and equity and inclusion the way they're using them now. I was already doing that kind of thing in my work. This piece is a mixture of male and females, different shades of males and females. Uh, and it was a very, very popular open edition piece. Diversity uh, measures 22 by 28 inches. If you like this piece, it normally sells for $40 today on Poncho Thon number 79, y'all. 79 shows, y'all. Woo! That's right, y'all. You can have diversities for just $25 today on Poncho Thon number 79. Item number four and sold. And diversities will be coming your way. That's right, y'all. You know, we have a lot of fun with these open editions. These pieces have uh, gratified many people in many homes, and they will continue to do so. You know, artwork is so timeless uh, that, you know, these things, uh, the, the message is always relevant. Again, item number four is diversities. If you like that piece, you can have it for twenty-five dollars on Poncho Thon number seventy-nine. Item number four. Item number five is a funky set I did in nineteen ninety-nine. It was around nineteen ninety-nine. Let me tell you a story behind these pieces. You know, I was trying to figure. People were scared. All y'all were scared, so stop trying to front. When nineteen ninety-nine came, outside of Rockin' the Princess, nineteen ninety-nine. Y'all was worried about Y2K, computers blowing up, the world ends, and all kinds of stuff. Y'all was buying toilet paper, water, just like we was doing in COVID. Y'all was buying all the chicken and, and putting it in the freezer. And these pieces right here were designed. I wanted to mix uh, African fabric patterns and a dinka patterns, but I also wanted to make them look futuristic. That's right, y'all. So, you know, I have a lot of pieces from back in the day that I used to do in a lot of different styles, but I thought this one right here, uh, hey, man, Stanislaw Fernandez is one of my favorite artists back in the day. Get a chance to check out his work. You'll see a little flavor of that in this piece, item number five. If you like that piece, just put Millennium Mask number one. That's the title of it, Millennium Mask number one. This piece is huge. It's 22 and a half by 30 inches. So you can imagine what that's going to look like framed. It's going to be a very, very powerful piece. And anytime you see a, a, a checkerboard pattern, that represents wisdom. Anything you see that's a stair step pattern represents um, lineage and heritage. Anything that's interlocked has to do with togetherness and unity. So whenever you see those patterns together, you know a little bit about that piece. Item number five and soul and millennium mask number one will be coming your way. Item for just $25. Item number six. You know, you know, it's a little warm in the studio, so sometimes our computers act a little loopy when we get ready to do what we get ready to do, but we're going to keep on flowing one way or the other. Item number six. Come on, baby. There it is. Item number six, y'all. Item number six is the mate to Millennium Mass number one. This is Millennium Mass number five. Same basic principle, just different sets of patterns. Uh, this piece right here, uh, everybody loved the Bantu nuts on this one. It's been a very popular piece. Sometimes I, I, in this new world of watching people Zoom and do all kinds of conferencing, I see this piece on a lot of people's background. Item number six, y'all. 
is Millennium Mass number five. It normally sells for forty dollars. It also measures thirty by twenty-two and a half inches. If you like this piece, just put item number six and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. So what's happening out there? Talk to me, y'all. What's going on? What you drinking? What you drinking? What you doing? What you cooking? Last week I had a mad taste for some uh, lamb, and I went to one place. I wasn't very satisfied. I went to a second place, and boom, got it taken care of. So yeah, y'all, let me know what's going on out there. Hey, what's happening, Khabibi Ajanku? Hey, what's happening, Miss Creola Macklin? What's Sawubana? Tell me what Sawubana is. Educate me. Item number six, y'all, and sold in that piece. Millennium Mass will be yours for $25. Item number seven. Calling all Deltas, calling all Deltas. We throw this one in the mix every now and then. This piece right here was actually done for uh, one of the national conventions of uh, Delta Sigma Theta. Uh, this is, ooh, I can't even remember what year we did this piece. I think we introduced this one in Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it's still alive and well. This piece is called, hey, man, the Delta Factor. It measures 22 by 28 inches. Normally sells for $40. But today on Pancho Thon number 79, y'all, 79. Can you believe it? That's right, y'all. I'm going to uh, extend a special price on this piece of $25. That's right, y'all. If you like this piece, item number seven, the Delta Factor, you can have it today for just $25. Item number eight. Uh, thank you, Ms. Creola Macklin, for giving me a little education today. Thank you so much. That's right. DST is in the house. What's happening, Jackie? Phil, your Hodgkins. That's right. How are you? Are you in town or are you in Greece? This woman right here know how to travel. Oof. I wish I had some of the flyer miles she got. Item number eight, y'all, is a piece called To the Beat of the Drum. To the Beat of the Drum, we bring this back one every now and then. This is one of our favorite summertime, summertime festival pieces. Item number eight is uh, normally it measures uh, 17 by 23 inches. I normally sell for forty dollars today on Poncho Thon number seventy nine. You can have this piece for just twenty five dollars. That's right, y'all. All of the open editions in this section are just twenty five dollars, and they all come signed by yours truly. Hey, y'all! If you're feeling brave, go to my Facebook page. There's a link there that says to, uh, it says for you to join me in the studio, where you can come up on the screen and we can talk a little bit. Specifically, if you got your book, I want you to come on in and talk to me about it a little bit. Uh, item number eight and sold and to the beat of the drum will be yours for just twenty five dollars. Item number nine. That's right, y'all. We're giving you a whole bunch of open edition pieces there for those little small spaces that you can make. These pieces are not small. By the time you mat them and frame them, they're pretty nice size pieces, but they're the nice, affordable entry level pieces for people's home. That's right, y'all. Item number nine. It's called Music Fest. Music Fest measures 24 by 19 inches. It uh, normally sells for $40. Today on Pancho Thon number 79, you can have this piece. On, this is called uh, Music Fest. You can have this piece for just $25. That's right, y'all. We have a whole series. I think my jazz series might consist of about maybe 30 paintings or something like that. But anyway, this is one of the ones we did for the Macy Music Festival in Cincinnati years ago, and it's still a very popular piece. Item number nine and sold, and Music Fest will be yours for just $25. Item number 10, y'all. Item number 10 is a um, one of my, one. I have a couple of favorite pieces that take me a new direction. This piece right here was a uh, um, a kind of a landmark for me because I, I, I developed a new technique while doing this. Um, this piece right here was, um, I used a lot of masking to do this piece, but then in the future of pieces, I started actually collaging them. So this piece kind of opened the door for me doing those pieces a, a, a whole different stylized way. 
on the main stage sells for forty dollars. It measures seventeen by twenty three inches. It was actually done for the Second Street Festival in Richmond, Virginia. That's right, y'all. So if you like this piece, item number ten, just put item number ten and sold, and you will have on the main stage for just twenty five dollars. We are having a mad rush on our open edition pieces. This piece right here on the main stage, just put item number 10 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 11, y'all. Item number 11, hey, thank you so much, Miss Carla Jones. That piece is yours, that's right. Uh, item number 11 is a piece called Soundscape. Soundscape was the very first piece I did for the Second Street Festival. They um, commissioned me to do five prints for them back in the day. Uh, five consecutive years, but this was the very, very first one. And we recently sold the original to this piece, which was 30 by 40 inches. But this print measures 19 by 24 and normally sells for $40. Today on Punchathon number 79, you can have this piece for $25. That's right, y'all. Soundscapes, you get this piece for $25. All the pieces that I showed um, prior to this one, all of the open edition posters come signed by yours truly. Uh, keep that in mind as you order. And um, whoo, these pieces make some great um, space fillers for those spaces that need a little love, a little light, a little color, and a little movement. <laughs> Item number ooh, hoo, hoo. item number 12, y'all. You know, we got uh, outside of my book, we have another book that we've sold quite a bit and featured on the show here and there. This is a very, very, I think, a very, very nice, small, collectible book. Um, the visions of our 44th president project happened over 10 years ago. It was first uh, displayed at the Charles Wright Museum. Uh, in um, Detroit, Michigan. As a matter of fact, I think the show is now being featured there. I need to double check that. But um, this booklet had, uh, in this project, invited 44 different African-American artists, artists of color, to create a rendition of a a um, a casted bust, life-size bust of Obama. And so it's a wonderful, wonderful book. It has 44 different versions. I'm on page 26 with Mr. Charles B. We were the only collaboration out of the whole book. The last number 44 bus, they did they they didn't want to divide it. Um, they asked if we wouldn't mind working together, and that's my big brother, so it was all it was just a, it was a given. So I did one half, he did one half, and it turned out really, really wonderfully. Item number 12 is the visions of our 44 president book. Book is about eight half by eleven, but it's got forty four different versions. Full color book, nice collectible item right here. If you like this um, book, just put item number twelve and sold, and the visions of our forty fourth president book will be yours for just thirty five dollars. That's right, y'all, thirty five dollars. Hey, you know, outside of collecting art, is collecting books. Collecting books is a big thing. In case you are have been hiding under a rock. This is the Poncho Retrospective book. It came out on 623 after a long year of production. If you want your book, go to www.larryponchobrown.net and you can secure your book. Uh, item number 12, and sold. And Visions of Our 44th President will be yours for $35. That's right, y'all. Item number woo, 13. That's right, y'all. We're moving into a different section of the show. Item number 13, you know, um, I'm doing a um, a book signing at Overdue Recognition next weekend, I believe it is, on the 23rd. If you get a chance to swing through, um, come to Overdue Recognition in Bowie, Maryland, um, and you can come to my very first book signing uh, for the Poncho Retrospective. <music> For those of you that are just tuning in, these are the house rules.
Item number 13, y'all. We are moving into a different section of the show. These pieces are all limited edition pieces. They come signed and numbered with a certificate of authenticity. That's right, y'all. So we grabbed a couple of limited editions that you may have seen, but we got special prices on the day for Poncho Thun number 79. Item number 13 is a piece called The Spirit of Fatherhood. The Spirit of Fatherhood is 850 edition. It normally sells for $100. Today on Poncho Thun number 79, you can get that limited edition for $50. If you like that piece, just put item number 13 and sold in that piece will be coming your way and add it to your collection item number 14. that's right y'all this piece right here uh i did two different versions one's called sankofa one's called sankofa spirit they have a similar theme just me it was me often when i get commission jobs i'll do more than one version of a piece sometimes i paint them simultaneously and let the customer choose at the very end if they want to switch the piece they did but it's a way for me to extend my portfolio. And in some cases, the second version is often commissioned by somebody else or sold to someone else. So it gives me a way to be very productive in between my pieces. Item number 14 is Sankofa Spirit. It measures 22 by 29 inches. It is an 850 edition that normally sells for $100. But today on Pancho Thon number 79, you can have this piece for just $50. That's right, y'all. Five oh fifty dollars if you would like to extend your collection or just buy one for a friend just put item number 14 and sold and that piece will be coming your way hey thank you miss jones we will note that item number 11 is yours carla jones do me a favor you are contacting us from youtube so i need you to be very mindful to send us your order um to larry poncho brown at gmail.com. That also goes for Miss YouTube, Miss Marshall. I see you also tuning in from YouTube. Um, if you all are tuning in from YouTube, I see um Chandra Guys from YouTube, um and Bika Samples from YouTube. Just make sure if you're viewing the show from YouTube that you're able to send me uh, your order via Larry Pancho Brown at gmail.com. So I can make sure I keep track of you, okay? I uh, would really, really appreciate that. Item number 14 and sold in the piece Sankofa Spirit. Normally sells for $100, will be yours for $50. This piece was actually commissioned for the MSU uh, Visual Arts Department to help them raise funds for um, different endeavors, including the fellowships and all that other stuff. It was fantastic. Uh, we did that project program over there for about 13 years. And uh, we're able to give a lot of kids scholarships as a result. Hey, we've got a lot of people viewing from YouTube today, which is pretty good. I'd like to see that. I right, number 14 and sold. And this piece will be coming your way for just $15 on Poncho Thon number 79. Item number 15 is a piece called It's All About Love. It's All About Love. It was actually created for Big Brothers and Big Sisters. The original was bought by a VCU Hospital, Children's Hospital. Um, but this piece right here, it has a nice little message. And um, I'm all about family. Item number 15 is entitled, It's All About Love. It's a, a limited edition of 850. It uh, normally, the um, size of it is 22 by 29, I believe. Yes. And uh, it normally sells for $100 for the day on Poncho Thon. You can have this piece for just $50. That's right, y'all. You will be purchasing these pieces at wholesale rate, which is the rate that most galleries purchase this work. Hey, Pancho, why are you doing that? I believe that circumstances change. You got to change with the circumstances. COVID taught me a lot about reaching out. If it wasn't for COVID, I would never have this show. And being able to offer you something that uh, nobody can't get at any given time, I think is a, I love to be able to offer you that. And right now you can go Google any of these things online. You'll see what the going rates are for them. These prices are lower than even on my own website. So uh, I, I give you all that incentive for tuning into the show. And as long as you guys tune into the show, I'll keep coming on. Hey, Mr. Spencer Boyer, my favorite attorney, checking in today. Hopefully you're doing well. 
Um, so yeah, item number 15. That piece normally sells for one hundred dollars. It's an eight hundred fifty edition. You can have that piece today for fifty dollars. That's right, y'all. Item number fifteen and sold, and that piece will be added to your collection. Hey, y'all. Ah, I should I do a trivia question today? Yeah, we got a we got a good amount of people in the house today. Okay, uh, this is a trivia question. Um, I'm not even going to, I'm, I'm just going to, let me see, how can I do this? All right. All right. Here, this is going to be a question. This is going to be a tough one right here. Which festival did I create the official poster for five years in a row? What festival? Was I fortunate enough to get commissioned five years in a row to do their official poster? That is the trivia question for today. Uh, good luck, y'all. I'll see what y'all can come up with out there. Item number 16. This piece right here is rare. As a matter of fact, I may not have many of these left. Uh, well, you know what? Well, somebody put an answer up, but it's not actually complete. So I'm going to um, allow her to correct her own answer. And I, the first person to give me the correct spelling of the show, the correct name of the show, um, will get the answer right. We got one answer so far. She's close. Uh, but it is not the correct name of the festival. Item 16 is Faithful Family. All right. I gave her a shot. I gave her a shot. The winner of the trivia question is Miss K the Notorious KYB. It is the Second Street Festival. Yes, I did that show, uh, that po official poster five years in a row. I think Karen was there all five of the years. This is the only reason why she knows the question to that. <laughs> but you got to use whatever you can use, right? Uh, congratulations, Karen Y. Buster. You got my trivia question correct today. So I'll make sure we send you a little something. Maybe it'll be all five of the posters. I don't know. Maybe one of them. <laughs> Karen Y. Buster, congratulations. Item number 16. That's right, Faithful Family. We may only have two of these in the house for this show because these pieces, I think, are close to selling out. As a matter of fact, um, Faithful Family, uh, it measures 22 by 29 inches. It's an 850 edition, normally sells for $100. But today on Punchathon, you can get that piece also for $50. But this is a rare piece. We are almost out of those pieces. So uh, don't mean to rush it. Item number 16 and sold. And that piece, Faithful Family, will be yours for just $50. Hey. I like when folks that I like the camaraderie of our show. We congratulate folks that won, you know. Uh sometimes, you know, I do these things and people be fighting over who was first. <laughs> I got a group of supporters at this show. I really love you guys for being uh, that uh supportive of each other. Item number 16 again. There's a probably um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two prints in this particular day because of the quantity of this piece. Item number 16. If you like that piece, just put Faithful Family, and that piece will be coming your way for just $50. Item number 17. Hi, uh, item number 17 was done for the uh, Sickle Cell Association in, in Connecticut many, many moons ago, but this is a limited edition. The limited edition is an 850 edition. It, uh, it normally would sell for about $200 and measures 22 by 31 inches. That's right, y'all. Love, links, and lineages title. Today on Poncho Thon number 79. You can get this piece for just woo! This must be one of the specials of the day. $75. It normally sells for $200. Love, links, and lineage is a limited edition of $850. If you like that piece, just put item number 17 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way item number 18 
as we close in on the last of our limited edition pieces item 18 is a piece called soul survivors soul survivors it is measures 22 by 28 inches it is also an 850 edition um that piece um normally was sold for 125 dollars but today on poncho thon number 79 you can have that piece for just 50 dollars i think that just became the best deal of the show soul survivors normally sells for 125 you can get it for 50 dollars today on poncho thon number 79 like that piece just put item number 18 and sold and that piece will be coming your way hey i know i got somebody brave out there y'all uh you're sitting home you chill you had a hard day you're sitting here watching me we got about 25 or so people got it in the mail uh and and i want to i want to get an appeal i want to hear what you guys think so if you're out there go to my facebook page hit that link and come into the studio i'm gonna bring you on the screen and you can tell me what you feel about your book. I'd like to bring somebody in so we can have that little bit of dialogue. Next piece up is a piece called Praise the Lord with Gladness. Praise the Lord with Gladness was actually done for Etworth United Methodist Church here in Baltimore. They also purchased the original to that piece. Um, item number 19 measures 22 and by 26 and a half. Uh, it normally would sell for one hundred dollars today on Poncho Thon number seventy nine. You can get this piece for just woo fifty dollars. That's right, y'all. Looking for a nice spiritual piece for your wall. Item number nineteen is it for you? Praise the Lord. But gladness is the title of the piece. If you like that piece, just put item number nineteen and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Look at that. See, I like when y'all folks can congratulate the winners. Uh, you know, because Carolyn Johnson was kicking everybody in the booty for many, many weeks. I think she has the record so far for the most correct answers in my trivia. That's right, Miss Carolyn Johnson. Uh, hello, Miss Creola Macklin. Thank you. Number 14 is your piece. We will make sure you get that. Item number 19. Again. It's praise the Lord. We're glad if you want that piece. Just put item number 19 in. So that piece will be yours for $50 today. Just for Pachothon number 79. All right, y'all. We got one more piece in our print limited edition section. Item number 20. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This piece is brought back on the show every now and then. Because we're low on inventory, and every now and then I pull out one or two or three of them. This is one of those shows where I'm pulling one out. We're going to have two available for the show. This piece is entitled Divine Spirit. Divine Spirit, uh, I, I, was, I did a whole series of, of dance pieces that consist of over 20, 25 to 30 paintings. This is the only one that's done from a top view. And if you look at her arms and her dress, you see her in motion. But if you look at the symbol on her dress, it's a Janyame, a Ghanaian symbol. That means fear no one except God. But if you look at the symbol and look at her body, they're in the same position. I thought that was so clever. Anyway, <laughs> and that original was sold to, I think one of my collectors up in, uh, in, in uh, Jersey City. Item number 20. This piece is entitled Divine Spirit. We're only going to have two available for the show. Item number 20, Divine Spirit. This piece measures 27 by 27 inches. It would normally sell for $200 today on Poncho Thon number 79. You can get that piece for $100. We only have two of those available for today's show. If you like that piece, just put item number 20 and sold. And that peace, divine spirit, will be coming your way. That's right, y'all. We try to bring you pieces that, um, you know, the warehouse is huge. So I'm always going through this warehouse to find different pieces. Um, I try to mix up the shows so that if, even if you watch the show, you won't remember all of the pieces. Uh, if you just purchased my book, you see that that book has 305 images. And that book is a, mainly about my published works. 
So what you see in that book are published works only. I'm working on a second book that has my original works, some of which have never been published and really have not been seen since the original person purchased it. So we got a lot of things coming down the pike that we're going to be introducing you to. Uh, you know, this is the part of the show where we start to show you some of our original works. And, uh, well, you know how we do it. We normally do a countdown so you can see we got about five pieces on the menu. Here we go. Item number 21 is from my sketchbook, y'all. That's what I've been showing you guys a lot of my sketchbook drawings. These pieces are excellent collectibles. These, uh, sometimes my sketchbooks pieces become larger versions sometimes. Sometimes it's just me getting ideas out of my head. Sometimes it's just me trying to design something so I can get a flow. Sometimes I just need to do it just to kind of uh, to, to, to reset my brain. But um, yeah, these original pieces, they sell around a four or $500 range on the second market. When I go out in my shows and we frame these up, that's the price that people pay for these pieces. Item number 21 is titled Full Vessel. Full Vessel. That's right. I like to do these introspective pieces. I like to play with shapes. I saw a heart in there. I saw a lot of other little shapes in there. Item number 21 is from my sketchbooks. It's called Full Vessel, if you like that piece. It normally would sell for $400. It measures five by seven inches. It's graphite on paper. Today on Poncho Thon number 79, you can have Full Vessel for just $250. That's right. Where can you get a, a deal like that on a small original pieces? I know a lot of times folks be sleeping on the show. Uh, because you're watching and you're engaging, but opportunity is everything. Uh, we got a lot of new people who are just beginning to collect. So, you know, and we do this section specifically to introduce you to small original pieces. Item number 22. Also for my sketchbooks, this piece is entitled item number 22. It's called Peaceful. Peaceful. How many of y'all can use that? That's right. Another introspective piece. Now, most of my pieces, if you notice, I don't do a lot of people smiling in any of my work. I do a lot of eyes closed in my work. Did y'all notice that? Yeah. I do a lot of eyes that are shaped like African sculptures. I do some eyes that look like Christian fish. I got a lot of little symbols that I use in a lot of my work that I don't know if a lot of you might be checking. That might become one of my trivia questions down the line. Item number 22 is a piece called Peaceful. If you like that piece, it would normally sell for $400. It measures five by seven. Today, you can have this piece, Peaceful, for $250. That's right, y'all. You want to add a nice piece to your collection, a nice collectible, something nobody's going to have, Sketchbooks is everything. That's kind of what I um, collect in my personal work is sketches and ink drawings, pencil drawings by other artists. Item number 22 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 23. Item number 23, you know, sometimes, <laughs> like when I do my sketches, there are a couple of criteria. The first thing is that I can't spend longer than 20 minutes on it. This, the, the second thing is it has to not have a source. It has to be from my imagination. And so often I'm drawing these things and I think about stuff. This right here, I was thinking about nicknames that a lot of the people had in my neighborhood. And so this one is titled Junebug. Junebug. That's right. Because every last one of y'all out there know a Junebug. If you don't know a Junebug, then you probably live out in the in the in the, in the county somewhere. But if you live in a city, yeah, you met a June bug. I know I met two or three June bugs, but this is this piece was inspired from that nickname, item number 23. It's also one of my pencil drawings, one of my studies. It uh, it's, it measures five by seven inches. It would normally sell for $400. 
Today, you can have item number 23 for just $250. That's right, y'all, $250 for that sketch. If you like that piece, just put item number 23. And so, <laughs> yeah, Miss Richardson said, yeah, she know a June bug. And, and you know, CD and Leggin say she know at least three June bugs. <laughs> That's the way we flow, man. I had a thousand peanuts. I can give you a whole list of different names. Some of those names were actually sketched out in that sketchbook, too. Uh, item number 23 and sold. If you like that piece, just put item number 23 and sold, and June bug will be yours. Item number 24. Item number 24 is also from my sketchbooks. This was done back in probably 2006. That's right, y'all. You know, uh, a couple of years I made a pledge to do a drawing every day in my sketchbook. I've only done it completely one year, one time. But I do have several journals that went six months, eight months, four months. And so uh, I have a lot of drawings that I do, kind of my little exercises. Item number 24 is a piece titled Strong One. Strong One. That's right. Item number 24. It is a mixture of a human face with some African motifs. But if you don't see the strength there, then hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what it's all about. I just like to do pieces that make me think that uh, it released my mind. This drawing, uh, is, I'm not really worried about proportions. I'm more trying to catch a feel, a spirit, a soul. Item number 24. If you like that piece, strong one, just put item number 24 and sold. It would normally sell for $400, measures five by seven inches today on Poncho Thon number 79. You can have that piece for just $250. We are on the last piece of the day, y'all. And guess what? I got a collaboration here. You know, every week I try to show you something that you haven't seen. Item number 25. Is a, is a collaboration between actually three people. This is the background was done by Larry O. Brown Sr. Uh, the figure was done by Karen Wide Notorious Buster. And then I went in and drew on top of Karen Buster's figure and added other things to it. A very nice collaboration piece. This was probably done in 2014, it measures eight and a half by 11. This piece would normally sell for $1,500. But today on Poncho Thon number 79, the last of the 70s, y'all, when I see you again, we will be on the 80 zone. Item number 25, you can have for $750. The title of it is Best, My Best Foot Forward by Karen Y. Buster and Mr. Larry Poncho Brown. It measures 8.5 by 11. It's on paper. It's mixed media. It's got graphite, uh, graphite and acrylic mainly. If you like this piece and you're looking for a rare collectible by two artists, hey, item number 25 is the piece, item number 25 and sold, and my best foot forward, a collaboration by Karen Y. Buster and yours truly will be yours for $750, normally $1,500. That's right, y'all. That is what's up. I told you, um, whoo. For those of you that have taken advantage of some of the specials we've been given on the originals, I, I know quite a few of you have. Um, I just encourage you to keep on checking out that's part of the show because it has pieces that you may not have uh, had a chance to witness. Hey, you ever wonder what my sketches look like besides my originals? Here's a look at what that looks like.
Yes, 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 y'all. Just to give you a sneak preview of what some of my works look like from sketch to finish. You know, I show a lot of my sketches at the end of the show. Uh, and sometimes those pieces become larger pieces. But just want you guys to have a, a snapshot of that. Hey, y'all. It's another fantastic uh, hump day. I want to thank you all for joining us on the show today. Uh, it's a lot of things happening in the world, y'all. But we are making it through. Hey, positivity. You know what I'm practicing? I'm practicing not saying nothing negative about anything. I'm practicing saying something positive. Instead of when people start talking about something that's happened over here that's negative, I regurgitate something that's positive. Hey, you know, so-and-so's daughter is going to college. I'm playing this game now to see how many times people will say something positive over something negative. You'd be surprised how often we are crowded around, and that's all we're doing, thinking we're being positive but regurgitating stories of negativity. That's what I'm trying to do. That's my challenge to all of you. I want to thank you all for tuning into the show. Thank you so much for uh, spending the time. And until next time, I love you all. And I will see you next Wednesday. Because you know, uh, I'm taking off in August. I'm telling you now, just in case you guys uh, have not been made aware. Yeah, I'm going to take a little break in August and uh, catch up on some things. And we're going to start back again in September. But until next time, y'all, I will see you on the next ship. Yeah.